Man, it's only mid-January, and we're already thinking about getting the garden started. Hey folks, welcome back to the Rock and Sea Homestead. My name is Lance. I want to welcome you to our channel. And as you saw in the little clip at the very beginning, it's time to think about what we're going to do in the garden this year. This is our second year of planting and actually having a real garden. So we're getting super excited about it already. As you can see, the garden's kind of put to bed right now. We do have some beautiful onions coming up and we have some garlic in that bed. But we have to decide what else we're going to do. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. So last year we made Four of these raised beds, we didn't work quite for sure exactly how they were work, but they worked fantastic. And I was saying earlier, you know, we still got two of them that are in session right now. I got some uh, onions and garlic planted, but we are going to make two more of these and we're going to run them somewhere right in here. Once they're moved or once they are built, we'll probably move this fence back a little bit. We're probably not going to grow anything in the ground like we did last year. The, the raised beds with the super soil is just fantastic. Now the one exception that may happen when it comes to growing stuff in the ground, maybe for cucumbers. Last year we grew them all along this fence line and it worked awesome, but we are gonna move this back a little bit. Uh, we get a lot of shade here in the afternoon, so it's great for cucumbers and they did really, really well. So we may just move that back, grow a huge amount of cucumbers again, because we love pickles and, and preserving those things. But we're also gonna have some more of these metal tubs that are self-watering and they kind of wick up from the bottom there. They work really good. We have a video out how we made this. I'll link it up here on the, on the video. But we, we had, I think, three tomato plants in this thing and this thing went 10 or 12 feet high. It was awesome. And we're gonna actually put three or four of these kind of across the front of the garden here. This is the south side of the garden. And we're just gonna put, you know, maybe two or three or four of them here just to kind of outline this, just to give us a little extra growing room. Now, one of the things that, uh, that we're not gonna grow like vegetables in, we had a whole bunch of these tubs we used last year just to see what grew well and what didn't. And I think we're gonna use them, but we're gonna put different kind of plants or herbs or those kind of things that are more companion planting to see what actually kind of helps with pests and bugs and, and some of that icky stuff that goes in your garden. Hopefully we can plant those with those type of uh, flowers or herbs or whatever it may be and kind of help out plus most of those things just look pretty and it may help uh, beautify the garden a little bit so up in the herb garden area we're going to redesign this completely so we're going to kind of model some four by four beds on our other beds the the metal with the wood we're going to make little four by four pods and i think we can get four of them in here and the reason why we want to break it down and have them segregate instead of real long ones is certain herbs just don't go well with other herbs and Marcy wants to plant a whole bunch of herbs so we thought that would kind of give us some separation and maybe we can grow different things with different different on in different beds and hopefully they'll be able to grow better and those kind of things and I think they'll look cool you know because we're gonna get them pretty high and because having these low on the ground it's just not as convenient as some of the the bigger beds and taller beds. This is so nice to have things up here at waist height when you're gardening. So I'm a firm believer in growing standing up for sure. So yeah, so that's our thoughts and our uh, and what we think we're going to do for the garden this year, at least on the on the kind of the hardware stuff. And uh, we'll go inside and talk to you about what we're going to plant and where we're going to plant those in those beds.
Okay, so as you can see, it was a long process of trying to decide, negotiate, and decide uh, what seeds we were going to keep from what we have already. Yep. And based on what we have already and what we decided we wanted to plant, we also generated a list of seeds we need to order. Yes, 100%. Yeah, and so that was a lot of uh, trying to decide exactly how many things we wanted to plant, what kind of space we realistically had. Last year, we just kind of like, let's grow tomatoes, and we planted a bunch of uh, tomato seedlings, and then um, we didn't really use them all because no. uh, we just didn't have as much space as our minds might have thought we had. So we were a little bit more intentional about that. And, and part of it, we didn't know how many would actually germinate. Yeah, we had so, no idea if we were going to succeed. And to be honest, them. I'd rather over germinate than. Yeah, for sure. And we did. Yeah. And we will again. But yeah. but I think we'll scale it back a little bit. We also were a little bit smarter about um, what varieties and how much yes. of those we were going to plant. Especially, especially on the tomatoes. So once you grab those, so right, these. So this is these the these keeper the, box. This is the box. These are the, these are the ones we're either going to uh, hold on to and see. We might give some away at a seed swap. It yeah. also has all my herbs because I haven't finished planting that. We've only done the vegetable garden so far. Okay, some wild flowers to so spread around try, the property. Yeah, we're going to try to spread out, uh, plant some more flowers this year because I think that'd be nice. We're going so if, so if you guys got a live stream, many a long while ago. Yeah, probably October sometime. I ordered some stuff for a GoPro like kit, you know, like all the little attachments go to a GoPro, but and it came from China and they sent me a, a thing of strawberry seeds from China. So these are Chinese strawberries. I'm gonna grow them. He's gonna give them the best try he yeah, can. Yeah, I'm gonna grow them. Okay, what else have we got? All right, so we have three different types of lettuces. And we noticed that in the seeds that we have, we've got all that we need in this family. Yeah, so we have a uh, Paris Island lettuce, and this is actually from In My Gardener. Awesome, one of my favorites from last yeah, year. I love that one. Uh, Grand Rapids, that's actually from uh, Ferry and Morse. Mm -hmm. Uh, really good. We grew that in the uh, late fall. Mm -hmm. uh, butternut we got from Baker Creek last year. It's really, really good. Butter crunch. Oh, butter crunch. Butter I'm sorry. Crunch. Butter crunch. Yep. Really good. And then a uh, burpees, uh, big ruffles, hybrid spinach. Spinach and they get huge leaves. Yeah, big, big leaves, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so which is really, those, really good. So that's what we're going to plant from that family. We've got all that we need. Yep, all, all that right. we need. And then what else have we so got? So tomatoes. Here? So we're going to order some, but the ones that we had that were planting either from seeds we had or, or uh, ones we didn't. Or that we got in other kits along the way. Yeah. Packs from people. Uh, our purple bumblebees. Love we're going to do those again. So cool looking. Yeah, and, and they were awesome. And they were prolific. Yes. Good growers. Very much so. And then uh, tomato pink ox heart. We hear this is a good big meaty tomato that should be good for canning. Canning, yes. So Preserving. we got some of these from Kim mm -hmm. down uh, when we did that earlier in the year. Uh, Cherokee purples. We're going to try those one more time. Yep. Uh, and we're going to order a few. Yes. So we're going to do a Bonnie Best. I uh, heard those are awesome. Big, big, big tomato. We're going to do an Isis Candy Cherry. Yes. Tomato. Uh, we've got a San Marzano tomato. Yep. More of a, like a paste tomato. Uh, one that's called Super Sauce. It's supposed to be good yep. for Should making. Should be really good. It's, again, another meaty one, low on the seeds, that kind of stuff. Yeah, because what we found out last year is we, with all that ended up growing last year was cherry tomatoes, which were great, but it wasn't. It was hard to preserve them all. Yeah, they're and really then, more for just eating and using on salads and stuff. Yeah. They're not so much great for preserving. So. No. Gonna try to be better about that this year. Yep. So that's it for tomatoes. Yep. Peppers. Peppers. The only one we have left over a little bit is banana peppers. Definitely gonna plant those. Yes, and we're gonna preserve a whole bunch of these because I have got. He loves we're that. out of them now. He loves that. So then we're going to order. Um, one called Bullnose, which we grew last year, yep, and they and did very well. And that's going to be from Baker Creek. Baker Creek, and then we've got an Orange Bell. We're going to try. Yep. Those look really good. Uh, we are going to plant a mild jalapeno because we'd like to try some salsa this year, which we didn't try last year. We did not. So we're excited so. about trying that. And then that should be good for us on peppers. Yep. Okay. What else you got? Uh, squashes. So Squash and zucchini. Squash and zucchini. We're going to plant more zucchini than squash. We found we like that better. Yeah, and we, we're going to try to do the whole zoodle thing and hopefully... We'll see how it goes. That. Yep. We have one in here as a maybe. Uh, we love it, but this is a huge packet of these, but uh, uh, spaghetti squash. Right. We love spaghetti squash. So we might so. try that. We'll see if we've got space. Yeah, we'll that's, see. A, that's a maybe. That's and a maybe. so are the next two, the peas and the beans. Yeah, Not 100% beans. sure whether we'll do that, but we're thinking we might try But we that. at least left them in here and see... Yeah. There and the might happen. So what else? And then the what other else thing, thing that get? we need to order is carrots. We found one that we liked in the burpee catalog. Yep. And then we're going to buy, uh, get two uh, 
packs of cucumbers, one Chicago pickling cucumbers. I think we grew these last year and they were great for, they were awesome. for pickling. Yep. And then we're also growing one called Market Moore 76. Yep. And that one will be more of a slicer, but I'm yeah, sure looks, we can preserve it as well. Yeah, it looks very similar to what you got the, when and you got the you store. Think of when you look at cucumbers in the grocery store. Yep. So that's what we're going to get. So we have a short list of things to order. We're probably half already have, half need to order. Yep. Um, so we're going to try to get that accomplished in the coming week. And there's going to be a video on how we order the seeds. Yep. Uh, it's one of the questions my mom had. She's like, so how do you guys order the seeds? So we're going to do a video of what we look at, not only from the catalogs, but from the website, the website and, and all the other yep. uh, informational stuff that we look on online. So yep. yeah. So look forward to that coming out probably next week. So now that we've got all of the uh, things that we want to grow, yep. we looked at the space that we have and we kind of plotted it out. Yep, as you guys seen earlier in the video. Right, outside. So then we found an app online, Grow Veg, um, and I did the free trial version of it. I like it though, so I might, might uh, buy a subscription, I'm not sure. But it was really neat. You could kind of like plot out your actual garden yep. um, right on the on the website, and it was fairly user friendly. Didn't have any trouble figuring out how, figuring out how to do it. And there was, I mean, I didn't need to look at a tutorial or anything. It was just an easy kind yeah, of drag, it's, drop, it's easy. plug and play. It was it's pretty easy. Um, I'm gonna run a picture of the final uh, PDF of the of the design that I made. I'll run it up here above while we're talking. But you can kind of see that we more intentionally thought about where we were gonna plant things. And also, uh, you know, how many uh, of those self-wicking beds will, would we really need? Because we're going to put our peppers and our beans, peas into those tubs. Yep. And then everything else will go into the raised beds and the cucumbers will go along um, a little uh, fence area like we did uh, last year. Oh, which worked really good. Which worked fine, so we'll do that again this year. Yep. So that's, that's the plan and that's what, we're hope, that's what we're aiming for. Yeah. We're looking for, we're, we're getting excited about spring gardening. Yeah, there's a lot to do, a lot to consider, but um, we're really excited to have a year under our belt and not feel yeah. so, um, so overwhelmed. overwhelmed. <laughs> and we still feel overwhelmed in certain aspects, yeah. but, but it won't, definitely it feel more comfortable. It won't be nearly as bad. Yeah. So I don't know about you guys, but we're looking so forward to having uh, a spring garden in and get everything ready for it. Like I said, um, next week we're going to put out another video and it's going to be actually how we actually bought the seeds. So you've already seen what seeds we're gonna get. Now we're gonna show you actually how we buy them. My mom was wondering about how you buy seeds online and those kind of things, and we thought maybe that may be helpful for some people out there. So hopefully this will check in on that. There'll be a video coming out sometime next week on that. And if you uh, are first time gardeners or wanna see what we struggled with last year, we have a whole playlist of Beginning Gardening 101, and it covers everything that we did last year with gardening, and it was a fantastic journey for us. We hope you join along again. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, it's a great opportunity to do that. The subscribe button's right down there. Click that button, ring that bell, so you get notified every time a video comes out. And if you haven't seen this on social media, the links are down below, Facebook, Instagram, all those kind of good things. And from our homestead to yours, have a great day, and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye.